Arbor Jackai, a name that I can barely pronounce, may mean nothing to many of you guys, but to other forwards in the Ontario Hockey League, he is terrifying. Going into the corner with this guy is like having a sleepover at Ed Gein's house. This six foot four, undrafted 21 year old defenseman, currently property of the Montreal Canadiens, recently spoke to the media. He compared his game to Ben Sherratt. This is the kind of defenseman that he wants to become in today's NHL. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at some of his most recent comments. We'll take a look at some of his work on the old Junkie Tron and devote this entire video to a guy who's not a hypnotist, but he enjoys putting people to sleep. Now, first up. The Canadians, they've got about 809 defense prospects in the system right now. They're all itching to crack the Canadians lineup one day. Not all of them are going to make it, but some of them are. And as you all know, the Canadians right now are as far away from the playoffs as I am from retirement. And because of this, we get the pleasure of watching some of these guys crack the lineup. We saw Justin Barron play a couple of games on the Habs blue line. He looked awesome. Then we saw Jordan Harris play a couple of games and he didn't look too shabby either. The future of the Canadians blue line is looking pretty damn good. Now as for Arbor Jack Eye, some people are thinking he might never reach the NHL level and his ceiling could be the AHL and that's it. You know, maybe he gets to play a few games with the Laval Rocket and then he gets a job working for the Mafia or something. But on the other side of the fence, we got people thinking that Jack Eye will crack the Canadians line up one day and when he does he's gonna be the biggest meanest bastard that we've seen in a long time special shout out to the hockeywriters.com they recently made an article on the canadians top five defensive prospects and coming in at number five was none other than arby Let's take a look at what they had to say, quote, Arbor Jack Eye has a little bit of everything going for him. He has some offensive flair, grit, and toughness, plus he's not afraid to mix it up with anyone. Jack Eye is having a terrific season, splitting it with the Kitchener Rangers and the Hamilton Bulldogs of the OHL. He's got 11 goals and 33 points in 47 games, which is a massive leap from two seasons ago when he scored only 17 points. Jack Eye is pure strength with a good point shot. His skating isn't the greatest, kinda like Fulton here, but he plays very physically and is one tough player. He doesn't mind dropping the gloves, but doesn't do it when it's not needed. Opponents will think twice before going after any Canadian star if they know Jack Eye is in the lineup. His ceiling could be a second pair defender, but that would be pretty high. Expect him to be a bottom pair defenseman who will get PK time and be something that the Canadians haven't had in years. A policeman who can patrol the ice. Oh, <laughs> wow, nice, nice. I don't know about you guys, but I love this kind of thing. You gotta think, with all these small forwards in the Canadiens lineup right now, Nick Suzuki, Cole Caulfield, Cindy Lou Who. I mean, Josh Anderson is not always gonna be on the ice to protect these guys. In a couple of years, when both Caulfield and Suzuki begin hitting their ceilings, yeah, me, I'd be a little more comfortable with Arby in the lineup, alright? He's a hammer, not a nail. Jack Eye himself compares his game to that of Ben Sherratt. That's the kind of player that he wants to become. Sherratt is his role model, you know? It's kind of funny. You get all these young guys coming up into the NHL. They want to be the Knicks McDavid. They want to be Crosby. Suzuki here, he wants to be the Knicks Patrice Bergeron. And then we get RB and he wants to be the Knicks Donald Brashear. Isn't that great? This guy probably eats four cheeseburgers every morning for breakfast. And when he's playing hockey, he spends the bulk of his time in the penalty box. And he's not too happy about it. He enjoys bringing the pain, but the league, the OHL, they just, they, they won't let him. Jack I would say, quote, I mean, in my situation, all the guys are small for me right now. It's hard for me because I can't play completely free like I used to and be able to hit everything that moves. The league is handing out penalties and suspensions more harshly than they used to. It's not easy, but I should be okay at the next level. He then compared himself to Ben Sherratt. He's got a lot of confidence in himself, and his dream is to play with the Canadians right now. And my dream is to watch him. Come on! So, you gotta think, with guys like Harris and Barron, Gooley, maybe even Norlander, ah, trying to make the big jump, 
Jack Eye at this point is kind of like the underdog. I'm rooting for him, okay, because I think you need that kind of a guy in the lineup. If you're asking me, you need a good mix on an NHL team of skill, size, and toughness. Jack Eye himself seems to embrace the task of making the next step. So let's hope with the Habs new management and their player development team, they can help this guy bring his game to the next level, and then in a year or two, we get to see him into the lineup, okay? And uh, start a scrum against the Bruins. We're all watching on the edge of our seats. Brad Marchand is on the ice and Jack Eye is on top of him. Jack Eye reaches into his pocket, pulls out a packet of ketchup. Marchand looks up at him and begins pleading for his life, you know. He begins to scream like, what are you doing, man? What are you going to do with me? And Jack Eye just looks at him and tells him, you know, I'm going to kill you and then I'm going to eat you. You're done. Right here. It's over. <sighs> Jack Edwards, you might want to close your eyes, bud. Anyway, guys, that does it for this video. Let me know your thoughts on all Uncle Arby down in the comments section. Do you think this guy has what it takes to crack the Canadians lineup one day? Or do you think with all the prospects the Canadians have right now on the blue line, it's just going to be too hard for him to make the jump? Let me know what you think. Don't forget to do what Arby would do to the like button on the way out of here. And hey, you know the rest.